project free from that manual, the demonstration talk. It's called, Where Do I Spend My Time? Please welcome Warren Bogart. This is my third speech, not the best, but uh, I put my first minute or two on the board for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody understands this part? Can I move on to the third minute? This is some Cisco stuff that we're not allowed to touch. This has to say. So y'all work with me. I'm gonna have to use the sidewalls tonight. Yeah, that's, that's cool. I thought about that, but I think I'll go to the sidewalk. Anyway, this is my third speech. I've been in the postmasters for probably three or four months now. How many of you guys are in sales? We got a lot. That's great. That's great. Everybody, you're right. Everybody's in sales in some way or the other. I was afraid with the low crowd tonight, maybe it wouldn't have any sales there. The speech I'm giving tonight is on how do I spend my time? What do I do? We all get overwhelmed. I would be willing to say we'll do a show of hands. How many of you think your territory is too big? Well, how big how, your territory too big? A little overwhelmed. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm surprised. Mine's overwhelmed. I've got the whole for Greensboro West. I can't begin to cover it all. So that's what we're going to talk about a little bit today. Um, here for is too large. How am I going to handle it? It's overwhelming. Anybody ever heard of George Washington Carver? We'll do a little, little talk about him. If you know him, he's a botanist. Uh, his favorite story that he told before he died was one day he was praying to God. He said, God, tell me how, how the world was created. I really want to understand this. And God came back to him. Say, George, that's a little bit too over your head. How about you take something a little simpler and leave that up to me? So he did. And if you know the story of George Washington Carver, he took the peanut. Mm -hmm. He invented over 300, he came up with over 300 applications for the peanut before he died and had three patents off of the peanut. So you can take something big and overwhelming and try to work your way down into something. Uh, who in here could give me two accounts that they call on? I'm going to pick on you, Melissa, you're not shy. Give me two accounts you call on, one of them being an account you're doing business with, one of them being an account that you called on for a while and not doing business with. I'd say maybe all of them, because the way it's set up, um, you can some of the strengths of your company? These two guys, girls, people, whatever it is, what are they hunting for you? Uh, best price. Comes up a lot, doesn't it, yeah. guys? Mm -hmm. Price and quality. Both of them the same? Yeah, yeah, efficacy and price, how effective is the drug, and um, price for the patient. Okay. No differences. They're both on the exact same thing. Okay. All right. 
what I'm trying to get to is we got to figure out who we're going to call on. If your territory is like mine, our average sales rep for our company, this is about the MFA, our average sales rep for our company costs us $52 per sales call. That's assuming 40 calls a week. That's a lot of money when you times it by being in the wrong front door. If you make eight calls a day and four of them at the wrong door, you cost me 200 bucks a day. So we gotta really focus in on what we're doing. So if they're both the same, I would have to, I would have to go to my, everybody from here, yes, no, maybe? Yeah, everybody? No? What did you rather hear if you go on a sales call? These guys are both the same. I was hoping they'd have something different with each other. They don't. So now we gotta get them there, right? So how do we get them there? We wanna hear, what would we wanna hear first out? Yes, no, maybe? Yes. 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 What do we wanna hear second? The ones that you know the answer don't talk. Maybe. Maybe. Maybe, you're wrong. Thank you. <laughs> you want to hear no. Anybody know why you want to hear no instead of maybe? Because you spell it K-N-O-W. Huh? Because you spell it K-N-O-W. You got to know what to do. Maybe you're stuck. You're in nowhere. Yeah, you know, just, you know, just kind of you can't go this Okay. You know, you know. No, you can say, gee, what happened? You know, is, it, is it my quality? What do I have to do to earn your business? You can always you just keep taking it back eventually. Those become yeses. The other thing I would suggest we all do, and I don't have a lot of time to do this, but uh, sales funnels. Everybody got a sales funnel? Are you sales guys? Got sales funnels? No? I'll do a speech on that later then. I'd love to get it all in this, but you can't. Basically, it's taking a funnel and you're loading in your targets or your prospects at the top, you're finding the accounts that fit your company, your company streets, your fits. So you got 100 here, take it down to your 50 that fit the best, then take it down to about your 15 that are your best fits, and that's where you spend your time. You can't, you can't do 300 accounts. It's not possible. You're costing me money. You call on a lot of people that don't fit. So you gotta be honest with yourself. What does your company do? How do you fit? Find your best fit, spend your time, your money, and your effort right there. Thank you very much for your time.